Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to do YouTube links specifically in Moodle 4.0. So in some of the versions of Moodle there is a feature that at times can be cool and at times it can be a little bit frustrating uh, and that is the auto embed feature of YouTube. So if you are in places that you can add links, so let's go into our Moodle course, make sure our editing is on, and let's just add a page here. Um, we're going to add a page, but this really ultimately works for anywhere you have this little toolbar that you can add content. So I'm just going to give this a name, page one, and add the content here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this link from YouTube, and I'm just going to put, just copy it. Now I'm going to show a couple different things here. I'm going to just put the link straight in, um, but I'm also going to say, you know, I'm also going to make it a hyperlink, this rad video. So if I highlight it and I come up here to the link uh, button, paste that right in, do all the things I'm supposed to do, I now have two possible ways. Now what Moodle will do in both of these cases will actually make the the video playable in the window. So let's see what that looks like. We're just going to do save and display. And now as you can see the video shows up not just once but twice because I put the, the link in and then I hyperlinked it. So this can be frustrating, right? Because if you're doing a list of resources and you know you're going to different websites and things that you know you have you have are sending people to different places and then you include a YouTube link it shows up like this and it's just disruptive it doesn't really work so how do we get around this well it's you can do it but it's a little bit more technical than what we're mostly used to so let's go back to settings and let's look at these links. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is expand our toolbar by clicking the down arrow. And then we're gonna come over here to the code button. So if we hover over it, over it, it'll say HTML. Now you don't need to know a lot of code here. You just don't worry about it. It's, it's gonna look like a bunch of, as you can see, a little bit of garbly gook. What you're ultimately looking for uh, and what you're ultimately looking for is going to be this and this, right? So you're looking for the YouTube links that you've made. And what you want to look for is this question mark and this V. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to add this little bit of code. Um, E-M-B-E-D, equal sign, N-O, the and sign, A-M-P, semicolon. Right, you don't need to know what that means, no worries. You're just going to copy that and then you're going to place it right there. You're going to do similarly up here. And when you do that, what this is going what is what this is saying is do not do not embed this. All right? So if that so once we have those in place, if we come down, we hit save and display. Notice now that the video is now just both of these are now just hyperlinks. And that's really what you want to be able to do if you're not looking for it to embed. Now, we're using the full YouTube link. The one thing I want to point out is that sometimes if you're using the share link to a YouTube video, it doesn't have that. It has the short abbreviated link, right? It's uh, utu.be. So if you want to get that fuller link, what I recommend is you copy that link, you put it back into the address bar, and once it reloads, give it a sec, there we go. Once it reloads, now it has that full address, right? So that is the address that you would want. You would bring it back over here, and in the settings, you would once again add that video, and then add that code. So you just take there, put it right in there, and then once again when we save and display we will now have those three links. So that's really how to do it. Um, it's a little technical, it's a little bit different than um, a lot of other things you do in Moodle, but if you want to avoid that auto embed, that's how you do it. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.